How's it going guys, Zach Cox here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we are going to be taking a look at a very cool and forgotten location inside of Grand Theft Auto 5. So, if you guys do go out to enjoy the video, a like rating down below would be awesome and greatly appreciated, as well as don't forget to subscribe for some more daily GTA 5 content, as well as we do a new forgotten location episode every single Monday, so stay tuned for that, but without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the tennis coach's house in GTA 5. And you're probably wondering, who is this tennis coach? And there's an awesome backstory behind this, and I'm going to go ahead and start off with that. So, basically, at the beginning of GTA 5, Michael walks in on Amanda, his wife, cheating on him in his own bed, in his own bedroom, in his own house, under his own roof, etc., etc., with this tennis coach that Michael has paid for out of his own pocket to uh, coach Amanda, of course, in their backyard tennis court and help her get better at tennis. So Michael confronts the guy. He ends up jumping out of this window, this cool mosaic-themed uh, window in Michael's room. And Michael, and just about the time that Michael goes downstairs to chase this guy, Franklin walks in. So Michael and Franklin get in this truck with a this utility truck, basically, and they chase down this tennis coach. And I want to say this isn't the first time that we see in-game Amanda actually not only cheating on Michael with a different man, but with a tennis coach in a mission called Repossession where Franklin has to break into Michael's house to uh, actually steal back a car for Simeon. You see Amanda and the tennis coach just getting a little bit freaky in the kitchen. So that's a fun little fact. But back on topic here, Michael and Franklin basically chase down this tennis coach and they find him on top of this balcony and it turns out that this is not the tennis coach's house. This is a big misconception. The tennis coach is on Martin Madrazo's balcony and Michael and Franklin go on to hook this uh, utility truck up to the back of this balcony and pull it down in a very unrealistic way and that essentially ticks off Martin Madrazo. He beats up Michael and uh, it actually starts the GTA 5, or sparks the GTA 5 campaign and the missions, basically. So that's very cool uh, to think that the whole GTA 5 campaign and all the events that unfolded basically started with uh, Franklin breaking into Michael's house, catching his wife cheating on uh, Michael with the tennis coach, as well as just with the tennis coach. So that's very interesting. But if we actually head up into Rockford Hills to Martin Madrazo's house, across the street from where this balcony was pulled down by Michael It's just an old rundown beat up looking house and if we actually walk up to it and I know it's kind of annoying I've got Nico Bellic this is a PC mod in the background but he has no legs and hands but if we walk up to this tennis coach's house here we're gonna see under the garage there's gonna be some tennis rackets and some tennis balls and you're probably thinking okay what's that mean you know but if you actually walk around to the back of the house we're gonna find a few different things we're gonna find a torso to a mannequin standing up that you could use to uh, bounce tennis balls off to kind of perfect your aim maybe as well as a machine that actually shoots tennis balls up into the air and you could hit them and also there's just a bunch of tennis rackets on the ground a bunch of tennis balls that you can shoot they're interactive so that's very cool but uh, that basically infers or it leads us to infer that this is the tennis coach's house as he goes across the street to get away from Michael and Franklin not to his actual location of course and also, this tennis coach is not only Mr. Steal Yo Girl, uh, a woman stealer, he is also a pervert. We can just imply that this is the case due to the fact that if you actually go around to the other side of the house on this little deck that's outside, there's going to be two little porn magazines just laying there on the ground. So that's very funny. This tennis coach, there's just a lot of comedic value to him. And like I mentioned before, it's just very funny how the whole GTA 5 campaign is basically sparked by Michael catching this tennis coach uh, and Amanda in bed so if you guys did enjoy the video a like rating down below would be awesome and greatly appreciated of course be sure to subscribe for some more daily GTA 5 content and also like I mentioned before we upload new forgotten location videos every single Monday so if you guys missed out on the previous ones check them out the playlist link is in the description but with all that said now the way I believe that's just about it you guys all take it easy have a safe one and I will see you all in the next video.